Good evening, everybody. Welcome to True 90s and Exclusive. I am Alex, and I have a sore throat this evening. So my voice is considerably deeper than usual, but that's all right. I feel fine. I sound awful. But as long as you can understand what I'm saying, we're golden. Today's and Exclusive is going to be a little shorter. Uh, I'm only going to have about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes once he joins in. So we're going to try to speed through this as much as we can. In fact, Mr. Martell has already joined, and he's already sent in him in and get this shindig on the road. Try that again. For some reason, I don't think it went through the first time I tried it. So we'll try it again. See what happens. Hi, cat. You gonna get your tail in the frame? All right, I have sent the invite. Well, either either he invited himself, which he did, and it says that I've invited him. So what we may have to do, if it doesn't go through, is try it again. Everybody doing all right this evening? Unable to join. All right. We'll try it again. I'll send another invite. Invite to join. David, invite. All right, David, I sent you another invite. There we go. Hello. There we go. Alex, hi. How are you, sir? <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Thank you so much there for doing go. this. I, I appreciate it. for having it. me. All right. Well, since we've only got a few minutes, we'll go ahead and chuck on into it. Uh, how did you get cast in the part of Teddy. We'll go right it we'll go we'll go right into it. We'll uh, rewind so so many years. It's funny it's still giving me the request to join. Um <laughs> you know back back then I uh I it was early in my days of auditioning. Mm -hmm. I went in I grew up in the Philadelphia suburbs. I remember going to New York one morning or afternoon to the big building that Nick still uses there as their, uh, their East coast 15, 15, 15 Broadway. I think Nick by common all uh, went in for an audition uh, with perhaps just casting at the time. And then I went in for a callback. I believe it was with uh, the great Chris Viscardi and Will McRobb, the co-creators of the show. Uh, and I think Catherine Diekman, who is the uh, who was the director of the the pilot, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a number of other episodes that that I got to work on, and uh, she directed uh, many of the episodes, and also even before I started working on the series and on the on the what was the pilot of the um, half hour series, which fans will know as Day of the Dot. Mm -hmm. um, she, uh, Catherine was, was working on, uh, on, on a lot of it, but, uh, yeah, I, I got, I got involved as a young, uh, a young actor as a teenager and it was an amazing experience. I didn't realize that it would, I had heard that it might have, uh, some kind of recurring part, but I did not realize that it would, that it would be on for, uh, for three seasons and have such a, a meaningful, uh, place in people's lives to this day. So awesome. now how much of Teddy was your personality and how much was not? It's, I think hard to separate that. I think, <laughs> I think I've, I've, I've said what I, I've mentioned. My, my sense is that when you start off uh, on a show and then you've been working on a show for a number of seasons, mm -hmm. uh, writers sort of integrate, idiosyncrasies from a from a person into a character and a, and and perhaps vice versa uh i think i became self-conscious about certain things like hey is that is that me or is that the character especially as, in your in your formative years you're like trying to figure out wait a second did that come from me did did i inform that writing or was that intention was that the intention prior to me even being cast, right? Uh, 
perhaps that happens. I, I, I imagine that happens regardless of, um, mm -hmm. of, of how old the, 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 the actor is that can, actors can probably have that, that question about a part. Uh, but I certainly did when I was younger. <laughs> now the, the excellent day and the, what, didn't you know that was, was any of that your inspiration or was that all the writers? I, I, I mean, I have to give credit to the writers as much as I would enjoy, uh, saying that I inspired those things. <laughs> I didn't write that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite episode that you filmed? Looking back, it's hard to say uh, a favorite episode. Looking back, it was a really unique experience uh, filming Yellow Fever because of the fact that we were actually on a bus for so much of that episode, on a real yeah. bus. I think that you know, that was on the East Coast that we shot that. I think in Hollywood, they might actually sort of cut a, like a cross section of a bus out and shoot it that way. Uh, I mean, especially now you would never shoot in this current climate on a, uh, on, on a bus. Uh, you would have to find some other way if you really needed to shoot a, a bus scene with, with anybody, regardless of their age. But that was really a fun sort of bonding experience because you couldn't you couldn't uh, disembark uh, between takes, you know, sometimes, but not all the time. It felt yeah, it I felt like I mean, you know, we, none of us really were having uh, a traditional school year, and that sort of yeah. was sort of surreal and interesting being on that bus during during the shoot. I think. Now, hypothetically speaking, if if Pete and Pete was rebooted, but with all the same actors. What do you think Teddy would be doing now? He, he, he would have uh, moved from the taxidermy shop, uh, I, I think. Uh, <laughs> and uh, probably you know, moved, moved out of Wellsville. And I think he might be looking at re re returning to Wellsville uh, to... Uh, Maybe start a start a business and reconnect with the folks there in some way. It's a good question. That sounds that sounds like that sounds reasonable. Do you yeah. have do you have any favorite memories of filming any of the episodes or just filming the show in general? I have a, a lot of great memories. It was a really great group of people. Um, you know, I think. I'll, 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 naming, naming one is, um, is, 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 uh, is difficult. I mean, I, yeah. I have memories with each of the cast. We, we actually just had a, a get together, uh, a, a sort of reunion of sorts for the, um, it was a reunion to support, uh, Pennsylvania and just to really, essentially to mainly to get out the vote in the 2020 presidential election. Um, uh, so we had the, it was a virtual uh, event and we had a bunch of readings and um, all the, you know, all, all different sorts of uh, sort of things that you can do virtually with, with uh, m the, most of the cast. And that was really nice. So we were all talking about different, uh, different stories. I mean, I remember, I remember the first day of being on set when shooting, shooting day of the dot. I mean, that, that is probably my most, yeah, that, that's one of my most vivid memories. It was just, a, we shot that in Bayo, New Jersey, and uh, it was just a really cold, uh, it was a, it was a, it was a cold day, but it didn't matter. We got up, we were all getting up early at like, I don't know, I'm sure we had to be there at like five or 6 AM was our, was yeah. the cast call. And, um, uh, and, and, Danny and uh, and Mike were uh, had already kn known each other for a number of years, but the, uh, the 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 folks who were playing the the friends and the um, kind of the recurring actors, uh, my myself and some of the others uh, were kind of just the new guys on the block and just getting to know them. And I remember that all of that meeting Catherine, the director, and she would always wear these. She was very fashionable. She would always wear these cool these cool hats and. Um, that was a time when music, uh, I was like, you know, in the early mid nineties and I was just really getting in touch with music and I was, 
thought of her as she reminded me of the woman from Four Non Blondes who always wore those cool kind of cool hats. Yeah. Um, I don't know, random, but uh, yeah, that show really connected me with a lot of cool music and um, it's an interesting, interesting time. Um, awesome. I see there's a lot of folks uh, coming in and joining. Um, and it, I, I should mention that if there's anybody who has any, any questions that we don't, since we're, we're just on briefly that we don't get to, can feel free to, uh, to reach out to me. And I'm, I'm happy to on, on Instagram and, you know, drop me a note and I'll, I'll be happy to answer. Awesome. Uh, did you ever get to drink the orange Lazarus? Yeah, that was some secret, of course, mixture. <laughs> and I remember it, it, which tasted great. And we were all drinking that. Um, and I remember like, uh, I definitely remember banging my head against that. Uh, there was a scene where I was, Teddy was uh, affected by <laughs> the Lazarus. I remember banging my head on the, I think it was a picnic table or something like that. And what are some current projects that you have going now? I, I really uh, am interested in the history of TV. So uh, some of the things that I work on are uh, focused around the history of TV. Mm -hmm. I um, uh, somewhat recently did a um, project uh, sort of that digs into recurring themes in, in the teen genre. That was a, a documentary. Um, and, um, I, um, yeah, and I, I kind of have a variety of different, different, uh, uh, projects and, uh, and things that I enjoy doing writing. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. A lot of, a lot of things based on pop culture and, and, uh, television. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Uh, like, like I told the followers that this is going to be a pretty quick one because we only had about 10 15 minutes or so so as you had mentioned if you guys have any questions for david please reach out to him where can they reach out to you at yeah instagram's a good way to reach me it's uh, david j martell just my name the letter j martell at gmail or at uh at instagram awesome all right. That is, again, just to keep it concise, that's pretty much all I had for today because I knew it was going to be a quick one. So, again, thank you so much for, for agreeing to answer some questions. And if you guys have more questions, <laughs> send them his way. So thank thanks, you again. I appreciate so, it. Thanks so, yeah, Alex, thanks so much. Uh, thanks so much for having me. Really, any any time. It's really, really nice to chat with you. And thanks, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Yes. Thank you guys so much. And you guys have a good one. We'll catch you guys some other time. Thank you, David. Bye. Yeah, Bye -bye. thank you, Alex. Bye.